In this video, I'll be showing you how to solve the Disco 3 CTF challenge on Pico CTF. And the description is, can you find a flag in this disk image? This time it is not as plain as you think it is. And the hint is, how will you search and extract files in a partition? So the first thing I think when I see that is I have to use either grep or I have to um, find, a, uh, find a file inside of the disk and extract it out. Um, I actually found two different ways to solve this challenge. The first way was um, probably the intended solution. And the second way, which is the way I did, was a super fast but um, kind of cheesy solution that uh, didn't really need much work. So first I'll show you the intended solution. So first I'll wget the file to download it and unzip it since it's a .gz file. So first thing I have to do is run strings on it, just in case if there's any flags lying around that they forgot to encrypt or whatever. Sometimes they do that by accident. Um, I spelled strings wrong. G R I N G S, and there's nothing here. So next thing I like to do is run mmls on it as a quick way of seeing the disk um, partition table. It is a command from the sleuth kit, but since nothing shows up, there is no partition table. So um, now I want to see what types of files are on the disk. So if I do fls dash r, which is for recursively, and dash p, which is showing the full path of the disk image, um, we can kind of see what type of files are on the disk. And we can see that most of the stuff are inside the log directory. And if we look around far enough, we can see that there's a flag.gz file. And here's the inode number that you can use to extract that file. And the way to do that is using iCAT. And you would do iCAT and then the disk name. And then you put the inode number. And then since we want to extract it out of the disk, we can copy it to a new file. And we just call it whatever, so we can just call it flag.gz. And this will put it inside of our current directory. So now let's unzip that. And as you can see, there's a new file here. If we cat the flag file, we can see that there is a flag. And we can submit it and it will work. Um, not that one. So another way to do it, uh, the second way, was using autopsy, which is basically the GUI of the sleuth kit, which is um, part of the MLS, FLS, um, ICAT, all that type of commands, but it's all in a GUI interface. So um, the way to do that, you can download Autopsy on your laptop or computer, and you'll enter the case name, you can name it whatever, um, you can skip all this. And it's basically just a super easy way to just look around the disk without um, having to type in all those commands and look in, look for every single in node number. So let's wait for it to load. And I already downloaded the disk here locally. And I'll just go and copy the file path while we wait. So um, you can skip that, hit next. And then you put in the path to the, the disk. There we go. Next, next. And finish. OK, so you can see here that we can see the disk. We can go inside of it, go in some more. And now we can see everything that was inside the disk. Um, we can see a log file here, or log folder. Go in. And just from browsing around a bit, it doesn't even take that long. We can kind of see, oh, um, what types of files are in here. And there is the flag.gz file. So this is basically just seeing all the um, FLS stuff, but in an actual directory. And we can enter this one. And there's a flag file here, and the flag shows up here. So those are the two different ways to solve this um, Disco 3 challenge. 
If you found this helpful and useful in any way, shape, or form, be sure to like and subscribe. And in the future, I'll be doing more of these types of videos. So follow me for more. Thank you.